From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Daylight saving time ends November 3rd. So you do want to set your clocks back one hour before you go to bed Saturday night. Our sunsets and sunrises obviously will change. The most drastic, in my opinion, is the sunsets. Our sunset will go from 629 Saturday to 528 Sunday afternoon. So it's always a good time to remember some of these key things when you do set your clocks up or back in this case you do want to test your smoke alarms you do get that extra hour of sleep and as we mentioned the sun does set an hour earlier so don't forget to set your clocks back before you go to bed saturday night we're continuing to watch this area in the tropics hurricane center gives it a medium or moderate chance of further development so far this storm season we've had 15 named storms 10 hurricanes four major hurricanes the last one was oscar for us here across the Midlands, we expect some clouds and sun, some mild temperatures. It's going to be warming up for the rest of the work week. And at this point, we're not expecting any kind of, we'll call it organized rainfall. There may be a stray sprinkle or two this afternoon. But once again, very isolated activity if we were to get any rainfall whatsoever. Halloween's going to be very warm, probably no record highs, but it's going to be very warm. High temperatures probably in the lower to middle 80s. The record for October 31st at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport is 88 degrees. Average is closer to 71 and 46. We're still dealing with ragweed and grasses at this point if you are suffering from seasonal allergies. The record high for today is 86. Record lows 26. And back in 1959, we picked up nearly two inches of rainfall as we do move through the rest of your Tuesday. As we mentioned, we can't totally rule out that very small chance for a stray shower. You kind of see it there. Our forecast models indicating just that very small chance for a pop up shower. That may be the case tomorrow morning as well. A little bit of fog possible Wednesday morning. All that will kind of mix on out and then we'll see partly cloudy to mainly sunny skies. Our forecast model showing trace amounts of rain over the next couple of days. So no real, we'll say no real rainfall expected, very isolated activity if we were to get any whatsoever. That's being shown by the Weather Prediction Center as well. European model shows these dry, basically dry conditions continuing. American model, same thing. So quiet, pretty dry, and things will be warming up. Yesterday we did manage to make it to 73 degrees. We'll probably be in that same general range today. No rainfall obviously for the month of October, at least no measurable rainfall, although we did pick up a trace of rain last Saturday. The last time we got any kind of measurable rainfall, it was an association with Helene on September 27th. Forecast for today, mild conditions, highs in the lower 70s, a little bit of a breeze out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Could be a little bit warmer in the southern and eastern half of the Midlands. Lows tonight dropping down into the mid to upper 50s under partly cloudy conditions. Here's our seven day forecast, low 70s to maybe mid 70s today, low 80s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Cold front moves through the area late in the day on Friday, does bring in some cooler air Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures returning to the middle 70s and we'll be back to near 80 degrees. It looks like by Monday The forecast for Myrtle Beach. Looking pretty good over the weekend with highs in the middle 70s. Charleston near 80 on Saturday, 75 on Sunday with maybe a stray shower Sunday. Otherwise, just partly cloudy skies. Clouds kind of sticking around in Greenville on Saturday and a little cooler on Sunday with temperatures right around 70. We do expect warmer than normal conditions in our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. That would be November 5th through November the 11th. And we do expect maybe a slight chance for above normal rainfall during that same time frame. So that would be good news there, but it won't really impact our drought whatsoever. Halloween two days away, Election Day seven days away, Veterans Day less than two weeks away, and Thanksgiving is 30 days away. Have a great Tuesday.